The intuitive controls on this Lincoln welder will have you running beads in minutes. That and more when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson and this is Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Lincoln Electric Power MIG 210 MP. Now the MP stands for multi-process. So you can not only MIG weld with this, but you can also TIG weld as well as stick weld with the same machine. You also get dual voltage inputs. So whether you've got uh, 110 volts uh, supplying your voltage or whether you've got a 230 volt plug, either one of those is gonna work. In fact, it comes with both cords so you can do either or. Now the 230 volt is gonna get you a little more power output if you need to get into thicker metal like say 5 16 uh, but the 110 volts gonna do absolutely fine as well. Now, at the 110 volts, you're gonna get a 100 amp output on about a 40% duty cycle. Now the 230 volt input is gonna bump you up to 200 amps output, but that's gonna bu bump that down to about a 25% duty cycle. Still, this machine for what it is really outputs very well and gets that novice or that beginner off and running very quickly. Or for that person that, that doesn't weld a lot or just needs to weld from time to time, but still lay good beads and still have the ability to maybe TIG and stick weld, this is an excellent machine. What Lincoln has done is added some very intuitive controls to the PowerMig 210MP. So even the novice or the beginner can actually walk through the different steps in the screen and really get this set up and start welding in just a few minutes. So basically you can turn the machine on and if you're hooking it up for MIG, uh, you can either run this with a flux cord wire where you're not having to use a shielding gas or you can run it in a conventional MIG style where you're actually adding a, say a 25% argon carbon dioxide mixture. And so you've got a gas import in the back and you can run just some uh, solid O25 or O30 wire in here, which is how I have it set up right now. Once that's set up, you can really turn the machine on, set in what size wire you have, actually set the thickness of the metal that you're gonna be welding and the 210 MP is gonna automatically set that wire feed speed and that voltage. Now the nice thing is that once you start welding and kind of get a feel for how you operate, you may wanna bump that wire feed up, slow it down, or in different scenarios, whether you're running uphill, downhill, upside down, what have you, you may wanna trim that and you can do that with the knob. So very easy to trim that. The, the Lincoln's actually gonna set kind of the median, if you will, and then you can trim that as you want it on the wire feed or the voltage. Now getting even further into that and delving kind of deeper into the options here, as you can actually set the spot time on this, so say if you're uh, spot welding or tack welding, you can set how long that arc will last. Uh, you can also set the run-in time, so kind of how fast that wire feed kind of comes in initially. And then you can also set the inductance, how, kind of how soft or how crisp you want that arc or if you kind of want it in the middle. So there's even some advanced options in this as you get started with this and as you get using it. Now, right out of the box, I wanted to use this and just kind of run a bead just by going through the controls and not touching anything. And literally, uh, these first couple of runs were my first couple of runs on this and the beads look really nice. And in fact, I was pushing the gamut and running a little bit, uh, or welding a little bit thicker metal than what it calls for on 110 volts. And again, I kind of wanted to do that on purpose to see how well it did. It still laid a good bead. Now, I did, I was able to trim it out a little bit more and, and get a little better weld and kind of bump the wire speed speed and the, and the voltage up kind of where I liked it, where I could run a little faster or get a little more penetration in my weld as well. So the nice thing about this is you do have full controls over this even though initially it kind of set those parameters. Now, what do you get with this PowerMeg 210 MP kit? Basically everything you see here to get you started. So right out of the box, you can get started with MIG welding without a problem at all, because it's gonna come with the MIG torch here. It's also gonna come uh, with your stick welding lead here. Uh, it's gonna come with your ground lead or your work lead. Uh, you're also gonna get the 110 volt and the 230 volt plug with it. Uh, you're even going to get a regulator with it and even two spools of wire, a spool of uh, flux cord wire as well as a spool of O25 uh, mild steel wire as well. And you even get a gas line for your inert shielding gas or for your shielding gas. Uh, so 
everything you see here, uh, even some additional welding tips as well as some rollers. Uh, so ready to get started right out of the box. Now what you're not going to get with this is a TIG torch. So this is going to run you somewhere around $1,400 as you see it right here with all of this. Now getting a TIG torch, you're probably going to spend another $100, $250 depending on what type of torch you want to get. Uh, and then if you want a foot control, you're going to spend another four or $500 on that. So to really get into TIG, you're probably going to be around a $2,000 range with this to actually do the TIG welding as well. Now, this machine's not going to TIG aluminum. So if you're wanting to weld aluminum, you're going to have to do that with the MIG process, which is going to require a spool gun preferably, so you can run that spool of aluminum wire in the gun itself and you don't have any problem with, with binding up trying to push that aluminum wire. Performance on this machine was great, especially anything under that, say, uh, you know, quarter inch, uh, eighth inch, uh, 10 gauge metal. No problem at all to be able to handle that. The intuitive controls were really easy to use. The knobs, the push knobs, and the turning those. I like the, uh, the fact that they actually kind of have some detents in the knob. So as you turn it, you kind of feel it turn, kind of go from notch to notch. So I, I like that detent, that kind of input that it gives back that sensation to your hands, if you will, uh, to kind of show you that you're turning that. Uh, as well as the, the controls are really easy to use, like I said, very intuitive. Now one thing I would have liked to have seen, I'd like to see two gas inputs back here so that you could run shielding gas for your TIG as well as shielding gas for your MIG without having to swap those out. So then you could run dual bottles. I usually run like a big bottle and a small bottle because I don't TIG a lot, but I do like to TIG from time to time. And having dual gas ports back there would be really nice without having to swap those lines out. Uh, other than that, a really nice machine. I, I would like to see the TIG torch come with it. I understand that would bump up the price, but again, if you're buying that for multi-processes, uh, then having that TIG available would be really nice. Uh, but really great machine, welds really, really well, was very happy with the performance of it. So make sure you check it out. Again, it's the Lincoln Electric Power MIG 210 MP. Be sure to keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and have a great day.